What's up guys, it's Endymion, and today I want to talk about all the rumors, speculations, and what-ifs surrounding Mass Effect's potential live-action series. Spoilers for the Mass Effect series, of course. And if you love Mass Effect, I got a ridiculous amount of content on the channel, so please like, subscribe, all the things the algorithm loves. It gives my life meaning. And now, let's begin. So I'm sure many have seen at this point that Henry Cavill posted an image in February 2021 Coincidentally, that's about the same time I started doing YouTube, so there's some useless information for you. Anyways, fans being fans went in and enhanced the image and found out that what Henry Cavill was reading was none other than a script for a Mass Effect TV show or movie, which is dope as hell. It's long been a rumor that Mass Effect would be getting its live action debut in the form of a movie, at first anyway, but was later said by people close to the project that Mass Effect would actually work better as a TV series. And this I agree with completely, so let's talk about it. Mass Effect sits in a unique position when it comes to a live action adaptation for a few reasons. For starters, each mission within a Mass Effect game could in a way be looked at as an episode of TV. Novaria could be one episode or a two-parter. Pharos would make for a compelling hour of television with everything involving the Thorian, for example. But when you look at Mass Effect as a property, it's clear that outside of the obvious Star Wars-like inspiration, there's the other big obvious inspiration, which is of course Star Trek, and there's been a lot of episodes of that one especially. They could conceivably make every main Mass Effect game into a season or two at the very least. What's also great is that when it comes to a main character, while technically Mass Effect's default Shepard is the head-shaven, gruff version you see on the cover, the reality is that Shepard can really be anyone of any color or gender too. Sure, we saw Henry Cavill reading a Mass Effect script, and don't get me wrong, Henry Cavill is great. I mean, that dude plays Superman and Geralt of Rivia, but regarding those two characters specifically, audiences and fans largely have a predetermined standard of what those characters should be portrayed as. Superman, as in Clark Kent, is the blue-eyed, chisel-jawed man with the curly black hair and Geralt needs to have long white hair and his hunter orangey yellow colored eyes for people to look at him and go, yup, that's Geralt, and he has to be handsome as hell, which, yeah, okay, Henry Cavill has that too. But with Commander Shepard, it's sort of up in the air. Henry Cavill could play Shepard, and he wouldn't even need to shave his head to fit the part, because Shepard is based on how you, the player, decides he or she looks like. Shepard can be played by Henry Cavill, Idris Elba, Jessica Henwick, hell, even Michael Sarah could play Commander Shepard. Although, I mean, you know what, actually? Michael Sarah as Shepard would be hilarious. I'm all in for that to happen. Because when we look at the casting of iconic characters, fans always have something to say. The actor's face is wrong, the hair isn't the right color, or whatever else. But Shepard is customizable to begin with. My Shepard and someone else's might look totally different, and that's fine. And that's why in reality, it wouldn't really matter who plays Shepard, because any person would be technically correct, canon-wise. If we do go for a female Shepard, might I suggest... Emily Blunt to anyone in Hollywood needing ideas. If you don't agree with me, go watch Edge of Tomorrow. She's badass as hell in that. Slap some N7 armor on her and hello Jane Shepard. In terms of casting who to play Liara or Garrus and so on, I mean, I would hope Hollywood execs don't screw with what works here. Liara could easily be portrayed by her voice actor Ali Hillis. Just paint her blue, give her the tentacle head, and we're good. In terms of more complex looking characters like Garrus, Rex, or Saren, for example, I would say it would be best if Hollywood went for a Mandalorian approach to these characters. What I mean by that is in Mandalorian, Pedro Pascal plays a title character, but you don't see his face mostly, except for a few key scenes in the series anyways. But for the most part, Mando is portrayed as a dude in a suit, and Pedro just basically can record his lines in a studio, they put his voice over in post-production, and voila, you're good. I want the same for Garrus, Rex, and so on too. Make them full-blown CGI, have actors in suits portraying the characters, but have the original voice actors from the games do the voices, and then just edit it in afterwards. I don't want some random Hollywood guy playing Garrus. I want Brandon Keener as the voice of Garrus with the mocap and all of that 
done by whoever can operate in a suit and make it look believable. I swear, if I see some crap like Timothy Chalamet, Chalet, whatever the hell his name is, playing some character in this that he has no business playing, I will be so disappointed. We have many science fiction shows already these days that show that you can portray a science fiction universe properly in a TV format. Hopefully the production of the show is more so like The Mandalorian than say, any other network show because Mass Effect deserves that level of attention. And we also need Keith David to play Anderson, invoice, body, everything, and of course, Seth Green needs to play Joker. Literally no one else for that role, please and thank you. The dude still has the Normandy in his Twitter banner. He made Robot Chicken, played multiple cartoon characters. He's been in so many projects. And yet, above all else, he still respects and holds the Normandy above all. Respect to him, he has to play Joker, and I will hear nothing otherwise. Mac Walters, the creative director for Mass Effect Andromeda, as well as Legendary Edition, even said it's not a matter of if the live-action series happens, but simply when. And that Hollywood people are constantly asking when Bioware is going to do it. There's a hunger out there, especially since the Legendary Edition came out this year and did insanely well sales-wise and renewed people's interest in Mass Effect as an IP too. I mean, I'm sure someone watching this right now played Mass Effect for the first time ever thanks to the Legendary Edition. And all I want to say to that is, I am jealous of you. Seriously, I wish I could wipe my brain of my Mass Effect experience so I could experience it again like I did all those years ago. I'm so jealous of people that got to experience it this way. So whether Mass Effect ends up starring Henry Cavill or Emily Blunt, I think the IP sits in a unique position to cater to many fans across multiple spectrums and tastes. Dude, can you imagine what a real life Normandy crew would look like in live action with Rex and Garrus walking around with like Thanos level CGI detail? Looking like living beings, Seth Green in the pilot seat, Henry Cavill as Shepard, Keith David as Anderson, and so on. That would be the dream. A project was apparently originally in development at Warner Bros, which means if a Mass Effect series were to happen, it would potentially debut on HBO Max then, which is the same place where The Last of Us TV show is happening, so it would be in good hands. Maybe a Dragon Age? Game of Thrones-like TV show in the future too? That would work super well. Grey Wardens fighting the Darkspawn and the Archdemon in live action? Live action Morrigan? Hell yeah. Oh god, I just realized if we have a live action Mass Effect, that only means one thing. Live action Conrad Werner. Hell yeah, brother. Well guys, that's a video on Mass Effect potentially becoming a TV show. What do you think? What would you want out of it? Let me know in the comments. And if you love Mass Effect, please consider liking, subscribing, and all that as well. I'm Endymion. I'm going to go play some Deathloop, then do a raid in Destiny 2. Let me know if you guys want me to stream on YouTube. I would love to play some games with you all. Maybe I'll make a community poll and just ask you guys what you guys, like, usually play. Probably not Fortnite. I'm not a big Fortnite guy. I don't like that game because you shoot someone once and they build, like, the friggin' Taj Mahal around them instantly is so dumb, but like maybe Warzone, Destiny, something like that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And seriously, Emily Blunt, think about it, Hollywood. See you next time.